you. Tina, I can't, I can't resist. I must feel the shoulder pad. Oh, you look like Excuse a linebacker. Me? <laughs> look at these things. It's as big as my head. This is an outfit that Cody got at um, Decades. Thanks, James. Ah. Here, because he, he uh, loaned Cody that outfit that he's wearing, and he got me this. I think I owned that a couple decades ago. It's lovely. It's very nice, huh? God, that's impressive. Okay. <laughs> I'm making her uncomfortable. CHP officer John O'Neill trafficked and uh, Cindy brought this in here. Look at this old poster. We're dressing in purple today. Let and the NBA know we are very serious about keeping basketball here in Sacramento. But look at that. You see Vladi Divac and um, Scott Pollard always had number 31 over here on the little little page chin. up there in the top there. There we go. See? Back in the 90s. Or this is 2000, Kings 2000. And that's Slamson. Slamson. I tell you what, it was like seeing the Wizard of Oz behind behind the uh, the curtain when I saw Slamson this year, and I saw him without his without his hat on. Oh. And I saw him in the bowels of Arco Arena. I was like, oh, dude, you're Slamson. <laughs> yeah. like, this is like seeing Batman without his mask on. No, put put your head back on, please. <laughs> Smoking a cigarette, yeah. Yeah. Then. You want to make okay. something of it? Nice. All right. 7:37. New at 8. Comedian George Lopez joining us live, and he's guaranteed to make us laugh. And Cody Stark likes a good cupcake. Who doesn't? Follow me to free cupcakes! <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's this way, I'm directionally challenged! <laughs> All right, Cody's having way too much fun. Hey guys, oh my goodness, look at this. These lovely cookies here, Panera today, if you buy one, 10% of the proceeds will go to Shriners as part of Change for Change. I was looking around here and I'm thinking, ooh, these look good. What is this? Who bit this? <gasps> oh. oh! That wasn't me. That wasn't me. All right, well, there you go. Cookies. It was the guy in the white shirt, it was Panera. Dale. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, thank you so much, Steve. The Royal Wedding just over a week away, and a local chef won a national competition honoring the couple. His pie won Best in Show, and it looks like Kate Middleton's engagement ring. Ashley Williams joins us live from Modesto with what exactly is in the Royal Engagement Ring pie. Ash. Yes. Hello. This is amazing. First, let me introduce to you Brian. Brian, how are you? I am doing great this morning. Go ahead and name your bakery. Uh, Pure Joy Bakery and the Lunch Pail in Modesto, California. All right. Now, local guy. Now, this is so exciting. Take a look at this check, you guys. $5,000. You just came back from Florida. You won the National Pie Championships. Tell me a little bit about the competition. Well, the competition is chefs from all over the country that love to bake pies. Um, there's over a thousand entries and they it's a five-day competition they narrow it down to uh, 15 blue ribbon winners okay. and then out of the 15 they choose one to be best of show and uh, that was us that was you now the cool thing about this you guys there was a theme in all of this and the theme was royal wedding and you chose to do Kate Middleton's ring so Robbie go ahead and show that picture who Lisa do you remember when this ring first came out everybody was stoked about it I mean jewelry stores were running out of these rings because people hello. were so into yes. it yes yes a hello blue sapphire platinum setting 14 diamonds surrounding the stone. She knows all you, the my specs. friend, created that, and <laughs> wow. it is detailed. You said you're anal about this pie. I am. I'm very anal about it. And we did our research. So, you know, the blue we used uh, for the blue sapphire, we used blueberries. That's we put whipped cream down, and then we put like a platinum dust to give it the platinum setting. And then we created some uh, little diamonds what? Little I love that. out of rock candy and put let's, on there. Let's do this. Let's, we're going to make it. So, as you're mixing, tell us a little bit about what you're doing. I know this is technically an English meringue pie, which is, of yeah. course, is so fitting. Well, the English meringue. The English are really big on meringues. They they are not big on crust. So what we have here is we have uh, fresh English walnuts. We have English dates uh, all mixed together in uh, meringue, which is just whipped egg whites and sugar. Okay. And it's one of the easiest pies. Anybody can make this pie. And uh, it's published on the website, so you can get this recipe and make it up yourself if you want. Okay, so all you're going to do is you're just going to keep whipping that up. We're going to put it into the pan and yep. then put it into the oven. Now, Halisa, you're going to love this. In terms of the diamonds, he used raw card candy candies which you created yourself. Yes. So it's made out of a product called Isomel which is like raw candy. Okay. And then we put a little uh, diamond dust with it so they sparkle because you know it rings and jewelry have got to sparkle. Fantastic. Okay so what we're going to do you guys we're going to put that together we're going to put it into the oven. Now coming up in the 8 o'clock hour we're going to decorate it and we'll show you the final outcome and because I gave up sweets for Lent you guys at the station are going to have to taste it for me. So you have pies there you'll taste it at 8 o'clock. Oh. Uh, oh. Congratulations and thank you so much and stay tuned.
Okay, Ash, thank you so much. Pure Joy Bakery and the Lunch Pail are located at 501 Bangs Avenue in Modesto. You can call them at 209-525-3663. All right, time now, 744. You want to check back in with Mr. Cody Starr? He's live at Array's where Kings fans wearing purple can get a free cuppy cake. Cody. That's right. All you have to do is be like this young lady right here, and you can get one of these. How are you doing? I'm great, and you? And uh, what, did, what did you tell me when you walked in? I said, I watch you on the weekend. Oh, uh, I, I thought you were going to bring up that I've lost some weight. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, she watched me on the weekend. Clearly a woman of taste. Would you like a cupcake? Yes, I would. Well, go grab you one right there. Thanks. Let me uh, show the people at home what exactly is inside of these cupcakes. Come on over here. Uh, if we don't mind. What I've done is I've uh, kind of sliced one in half so uh, mm. you guys uh, back at the studio there That's can get a good idea because I know you were incredible. curious about what's in the cupcake. Yes. Uh, there's wow. a crown right there and then you see the, the purple frosting which is a buttercream frosting. It did indeed come from a butter cow. Oh. And then you see chocolate a layer of chocolate down the bottom. Now there's a thin layer. Now it is a very thin layer but a thin layer of hope right in the middle that the team will stay. So if you're watching NBA people that are in town to evaluate us, thin layer of hope right there that we're clinging onto. It's delicious, it's delicious. And if you take the team away, I'll have to be, I'll eat like 200 cupcakes when I cry. There's another gentleman right there with a king shirt. Would you like a cupcake? Definitely. All right, right there, sir, right there. <laughs> Enjoy that thin layer of hope that we're clinging to inside the cupcake. But it's a rich cupcake. It's a rich, tasty little treat, isn't and it? And I love the big finger. I love the big Arsenio yes. Hall finger just in the middle of that shot, just pointing down at the cupcake as, as if it was your regular finger. <laughs> yes. Cody, we just got a picture. I You're think number that... one, Don. You're number one, You're Blue number Man one. Group. You're number one, King Cody. Uh, Julie and Franklin just sent us a picture. Uh, they went by Iterase and visited <laughs> you and took a picture with you. And they sent in. Oh, did they? Yes, they did. They already oh, sent it to us. Shot. So do that as well. If you stop by and say hello to Cody in your Kings or Purple gear, let us know. You can email it to us at uh, KMX. Did they get my good side? Good uh, of course, of course. Good day at KMXTV.com. And, of course, we want to thank... Uh, uh, decades. decades for providing Cody and <laughs> Tina with their outfits. They are located at 2004 Del Paso Boulevard in Sacramento. You can call them at 916-920-0932 so you can dress yourself up like a king and run around town with a big finger and a crown. Decades. <laughs> All right, well, he is one of the most talented electric violinists in the world. And new at aid, Tom Rigney, performing live in the Good Day studio. Plus, Will Ferrell ambushes Conan O'Brien show again. How he was able to slip under the radar and what he is threatening to do this time. And I'm going to cut that beard off. I'm going to mount that beard in my game room.